you know, it makes you feel as though you don't belong. That's what Ryan Pascal thought when she saw this prom proposal from fellow students at Palos Verdes High School. She didn't recognize the boy and girl who are smiling as they hold a sign that reads, you are racist, but I would give anything for you to go with me to prom. We've blurred the bold and enlarged letters within that message that spell out a slur against African Americans. It makes me feel small, honestly, to know that there are students on my campus who think that that is acceptable, who think that's appropriate, who think that that word is just a word that can be thrown around like that. It's discouraging that it is still happening. We have had two other issues the last two years. And again, it's just one or two kids compared to our large student body. The school's principal says the students in this case are facing severe consequences for their language. He sent a letter to parents today that reads in part, racist words and racist acts have no place in our school community. We will rise above this, learn from this, and be a better school community because of it. Parents tell us they hope this incident is a wake-up call to students about what they say and what they post on social media. I don't know what they thought was funny about making the racial comment, but I think now they've got to be regretting it and hopefully, uh, hopefully it won't follow them to college, it won't follow them to whatever jobs they're going to apply to. Pascal hopes the conversations around this issue will lead to more sensitivity and not just at school. I think there's racism everywhere. You can't just isolate it to Palos Verdes High School. Every place has these issues. Um, and I think I'm grateful that it's coming to light. The principal is going to each class at the school today to talk to the entire student body about the impact their words have and what is appropriate. At Palos Verdes High School, Tina Patel, KCAL 9 News.